Taharoa, beautiful nature and home to sports stars, including NRL player Te Maere Martin. Last year, I caught up with him in Brisbane for his magical return to the NRL. Sweet, yeah, your photo's there, bro. Te Maere is now at the Warriors, and with him is another star from Taharoa, young gun Tainuo Piki. Taharoa's estimated population, about 200. If you're taking a bunch of tourists to Taharoa, what's the plans for today? Few beers. Yeah. Go to the beach. <laughs> Any local shops uh, you would take them to, or? Oh, there's one shop. One yep. shop. That's all we got. Closed. Isn't it closed after one or open after uh, one? And are Something you a hunter gatherer like Timari, or? Nah, bro. I'm try to be, but all of the cousins know I'm out of everyone. I'm a I'm a townie. <laughs> <laughs> Hurts to say, but I know that whenever the whenever I need to load up my freezer, just give some of the cousins a message, and they they help me out. So um, when you two left, like the population dropped by like 10%, so what's in the water there? I don't know, something in the grass. Um, there's a few rugby players that have come out of um, Tarot too. We've got a cousin, yeah. um, Jackson Wollison. He's he come from Tarot and um, Justin played in the finals on the weekend. Our cousin, Tanika Wollison and the girls team. Yeah. Um, she's she's also from out there. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of good players that have come from our Tarot or born or somehow affiliated to, to Taro and it's just whether you get the right opportunity. I think me and Tane are pretty lucky in the league side by going over to Aussie and and getting going through that pathway. But yeah, there's a lot of a lot of people that have missed out um, just due to the fact that they didn't have the same kind of opportunity that we had. Hundred. Like if I didn't move over to Aussie, yeah. I on a, I wouldn't be in this position. So I'm lucky that I got the opportunity that not most of my cousins got. So yeah, I'll put it down to that. How do you two know each other? To be honest, I didn't know the bro too well until um, he moved over to Gold Coast and then I seen him playing for Kibra and then um, Auntie Paula told me, she's like, that's your cousin. So I didn't, I didn't know him too well growing up and then heading out there more, um, being able, getting told from all the all the man and kuros how he's related and everything. But. Team, um, Auntie and Uncle actually um, took me in when I went over to Aussie, um, when I was with Tigers. I got a head knock one one game there and they took me in and lucky I sort of had them because they looked after me for the whole week and then from then on I ended up living with them. Tane has a big future in the NRL. Last year he was the MVP of the Queensland Cup. Previous winners have been Cody Walker, Daly Cherry Evans and Greg Inglis. Were you following Tane's career like as a young fella coming in? Because you've got a bit of a reputation, eh? When Webby called up and he was um, you know, saying he was going to be the coach, he rang up asking about Tane, saying that um, I'm looking at Tane, what, what do you think of him? Do you know Tane? I said, yeah, he's one of the cousins from back home. He said um, Webby was real keen to, to bring him on board and um, just from the stuff I'd seen off, off the highlights, um, you could tell how much of a good player he was. You know, he's not the biggest player, but puts his body on the line. And I think he's seen that um, when he debuted the other week on, on how tough he is. You had a great debut in the NRL. Right. And, uh... <laughs> it's just for the cameras. <laughs> Without further ado, I'll, uh, I'll present this to you, son. It's a pretty cool uh, jersey. You've got uh, 279 and your name on there. So well done, we. Tate made his debut two weeks ago against the North Queensland Cowboys, a rare win in Townsville. When Toru got to play his 200th, he just kept directing it back to me and like someone like with that calibre just giving me all that credit, it was like, it was pretty surreal and just playing in the game even, um, it was everything that I thought it was going to be, like the, the crowd, how loud they were, it was, it was fun bro, like yeah. if I had to put it down to anything it was just, it was so fun. Man. Did you give him any advice on, on the day or the week up? No. Nah. No, I just worry about my own game. Kia ora Tane to Opiki from the One New Zealand Warriors here. And all i got to say is how good is that? My debut, Bangers 200th game and the boys put an effort like that. Shout out to all the fans up here in Townsville that came out to watch us. And we hope us boys think he's proud. And what was it like, I guess, like making your debut and Timari's on the field too? Yeah, that was actually... Um, that was pretty mean. Like, if I had to narrow it down, like, to um, my two halves being Sean Johnson and Tamaire, playing with the cuz and playing with someone that you looked up to when you were a young kid, it was like, probably couldn't pick two better halves to debut with when you look at it like that. So, yeah, it was pretty mean. Has this kind of been a dream year for you? 
Yeah, bro. Yeah. Honestly, um, when like when Webby gave me that phone call to come home, I um, I jumped straight at it. Like my my brain was telling me one thing, but like, I knew in my heart it was time to come home. I was I was ready. Told my partner she was ready, and um, ever since being here, it's been like more than I thought it was gonna be. Like Webby's been so welcoming. The boys, the culture here is like so good like being a, being in a team that everyone just wants to learn and grow and that helps so much like when you're having fun here being a footy head it's easy to have fun when at home as well yeah there's definitely going to be um, opportunities later on down the track where we're gonna need some boys to step up and um, I think Tane's example the other week was um, was a really good example because um, he played unreal uh, and it just um, you know it's an easy decision for Webby next time if you know, if nothing goes down again or something happens, you know, that team can do the job and you get a lot of respect from from training and, and working your butt side off. And, you know, you get the cookies at the end by getting a debut and a bit of a match match bonus, I think. Debut yeah. bonus for the bro. Yeah. Buying new clothes straight away. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you guys make the final, do you think you guys will... you got enough boys in there. Do a haka? Has there ever been a talk about the Warriors doing a haka? No, there hasn't been much chat about it, eh? But we've got enough Māoris in the I team. Even... Oh, when we make the GF, yeah, we'll probably do one. <laughs>